Welcome to Cheat Engine Tutorial Step 8. This tutorial is about how to find multiple pointers. Um, pretty much finding value of the pointer and then a value of that pointer and then value of that pointer and then value of that pointer four times okay let's uh, start this um, the first uh, thing that we have to do here is look for this value here from me uh, the value is 28 24 Double click on it and then when you bring this uh, address down to this window, I right click on it and then find out what accesses this address. Double click on it, find out what accesses this address. Okay. And the next step is click on change value the change value uh, button in the tutorial and as you can see I get two codes here uh, the first one is usually the the one that I go for double click on that and you can pretty much uh, take this out you can either stop or just cancel it and shut it down okay in previous uh, tutorials I was uh, mentioning this code here and mentioning uh, in the parentheses to remember what's in the parentheses well this is what you have to remember this number here 18 and under here we have to hex search for this code Okay. Hex search it for the code. The code is one. Two. Okay, I get when I hex search for this code, I got this address here. So this address has to be manually added down here to look for the pointer. Okay. But I usually click on this address, double click on it, and double click on the address, copy the address, and then take it, delete it from the record. And then click on the add address manually. paste the address okay so I have pasted this address down here under this bar and then what it says here is zero this is the pointer the number that you have to type in here okay 18 type in here uh, for you might be different for you might be something else same thing as here it, this is for me, this is not for you, but this is where you're going to find your uh, hacks to search for and uh, well, whatever it is, it, it, it's in parentheses. This is what you have to uh, remember or type in. Okay, usually I look up here where the address is, the first one, and the value of it. When I typed in 18 and, and copied this address down here, I get a value of 423, and I can uh, match it here. But it's 423, so it's good so far. Now the next step is to find the value of the of this pointer. 
how much the find the pointer of this pointer right here. Right click on it, find what access is this address, and then go back to tutorial, click on change value again, and get two codes again. First one is the right one. Now this one has nothing in I mean between the I's got the R S I but there's no numbers, so I assume it's a zero. And this is what we had to uh, hack search for. Okay. Got the new address now. I have to manually add it down here. Since here there's nothing, there's zero numbers, so we, we leave this on at zero. And keep on this um, value. Now, this time, this value is totally different from this values, from these values. That's okay. That's the whole point of the pointer. Uh, they like to confuse you. These pointers. So don't be afraid. Don't be freaked out. You know, when you see different uh, values, you'll be like, "Oh, what's going on now?" You know. Okay, next step is to find the pointer of this pointer. Right click on it, find what access is it. Go back to tutorial, click on change value button, and you get two codes again. First one, click double click on it. And I get 18, I have to hex search for this. Again, manually add this address to this on the window here. And here again we have eighteen. So type in eighteen. Uh, not you, but for me, I had to type in 18. But if for you, you, know, you might get here uh, 10, here 20, here 0, and you know. So pretty much, you follow yours. What yours said. This is what I have to do: is follow what my extra info says that I came across. So 18, and again. The value of this does not match this one or these, but that's fine. That's okay. That's the whole point of the pointer. Now, the last step is to find the pointer of this pointer again. Pretty much the same as the other ones. Right click, find what access is it. Go back to the tutorial, click on change value, get two codes. Click on the first one, and I get 10 here, and I have to hack search for this. Okay. Notice how we usually uh, get two or one um, address here, and I have two. Well, the green one, you're looking for the green one. On a fourth uh, try, um, 
search if you get the green one that's the right one that, that's the one that you're looking for the static one um, after this green one there's you don't have any anything you know to search for after that you don't have to um, too much you can't find it, any other uh, pointers after that one like the way we uh, found these so that's the last one static so I'm gonna manually add it now there's another thing we have to uh, do here since this is the last um, pointer static <coughs> click on pointer checkbox here and we have four here pointers one two three four right so we need four here also as well okay to do that you click on the button add offset three times to get four total okay now get four total the first one is 18 second one is zero third one is 18 as well and four points ten, and then you type in this address here that's on the green. Okay. You can double check since this is the last pointer. You can double check this value 1672 if it matches with the first value 1672, matches with the second value as well 1672. So that's good. Click OK. <coughs> now you don't need these anymore. You can shut them down. The extra info. And according to the tutorial here we are supposed to change we are supposed to um, so it's here click on change register change the value of this pointer and then freeze it well, well why do that why doing that you know that order why not freeze it first okay then change the value and then change the pointer so freeze it freezing it by freezing it you click on this box here you see these boxes here active uh, right now this one is not active it's been clicked on it's been frozen double click on the value of it 5000 okay and then go back to the tutorial click on change pointer and the next button showed up we can proceed to the next uh, step which is step 9 thank you for watching and uh, have a happy hacking